Looking to turn over a new leaf in relations with Cuba, President Barack Obama's easing restrictions on travel and gifts sent to the island. His order allows Cuban Americans to pay unlimited visits to Cuba and eases restrictions on cash and gift parcels they send. The White House portrayed the move as a gesture to the Cuban people that will make them less dependent on the Castro regime. It's very important to help open up space so the Cuban people uh, can work on the kind of grassroots democracy that is necessary to move Cuba to a better future. The White House also notes it fulfills a campaign pledge by candidate Obama. It's time to let Cuban Americans see their mothers and their fathers, their sisters and their brothers. Critics contend the step lets up pressure on a repressive regime, which will collect and pocket transfer fees. But the administration maintains the benefits of openness outweigh those concerns. The president's announcement comes ahead of a weekend hemispheric summit in Trinidad. Even though the Summit of the Americas excludes the Castro government, U.S. leaders have always gotten an earful there over a hardline Cuba policy that even America's friends in the region call political and short-sighted. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.